morning welcome to another weekend vlog <laughs> just started talking and ted's uh, made himself apparent welcome to the weekend hi if you are with us all the time hello welcome back and if you're new consider subscribing if you watch this if you like us subscribe there you go um this is a weekend vlog so we're filming the weekend good god this is rambly isn't it saturday we did say we'd do a, it's a Easter weekend, so we had yesterday off, Friday is a bank holiday, we've got Monday off as well. And last week we said we'd do this as an extended weekend vlog. Um, but yesterday was the day we filmed our thousand subscribe video, so yesterday was the day we went for the two hour walk to the allotment with a few pups and a few drinks in between. Um, my legs really hurt <laughs> after that, um, so today is not going to be very physically full day because I'm actually quite shattered from yesterday but as I was saying the extended vlog will be Saturday, Sunday, Monday just for you. So what we're doing today I hear you all ask. Well Sam's not with me. Surprise, surprise. Is he ever with me? Um, <laughs> no he's gone to his brother's house to his brother's renovating a house so he's gone to his brother's to help him with the garden I think. Not sure. And I am going out for lunch with my father, um, my dad, because it's Easter. Easter's a time to be with family, isn't it? So I'm going out for lunch with my father shortly. I'm meant to be meeting him at half twelve and it's quarter to twelve and it takes me half an hour to get there. So I should set off soon. Um, otherwise, I've just been pottering about, having a look in the garden. All my seeds are growing. The tomatoes, fantastic. The brassicas. The ones that are there, doing great. Some of them didn't come up slash died, but the ones that have powered through, doing fantastic. All my flowers, I'm so excited for flowers this year. I've never really put any effort into flowers before, but this year I've got about a billion cosmos to plant. So on that note, this is a bit of a weird setup. I'm not sure if you care or not. <laughs> I'm soaking my renun renunculus, renunculus. So I've got weird little aliens in water just on the side here. Yeah, you've got to soak them before you plant them. What else? I've got a cute little outfit on. I've got my dungarees on. Lucy and Yak. God, Lucy and Yak, if you're watching this, sponsor me. I've got about 12 pairs of your dungarees. I could really do with the uh, <laughs> the money back. No, I love you, Lucy and Yak dungarees. If you're into dungarees, check them out. They're from uh, Yorkshire as well, so there you go. Um, and yeah, I'm just sort of I was going to go to the shops before I met my dad, but then I did that thing where you start doing jobs, like I put the washing out on the line, I watered the plants, um, I tied it up, and now it's too late to do anything. So what I'll do is I'll set off. <laughs> I know you're not coming though, Pop It. Oh, he's doing his big boy shit though. You're not coming though. I'll try and pick you up like your dad does. Come on then. Oh, well, I'm, not... Ooh, I'm not as strong as your dad. Say hello. Say hello, subscribers. What's a subscriber? What's a YouTuber? You enjoyed your walk yesterday, didn't you? He was absolutely shattered. I mean, he was shattered in the evening at like nine o'clock, snoring away next to us on the sofa. I'm going to have to put you down. I'm, not, I'm really not that strong. <laughs> snoring next to us on the sofa. And then we thought, oh, we'll bring him to bed, up to bed with us. And he can have a tree, he can come to bed with us. 20 past six this morning, he's pacing around the bedroom, trying to get on the bed. Oh, woke us both up, we're both going to bed, go back to sleep. Oh. And then I thought, well, he's not stopping. So I got up, let him out. He did desperately need to use the toilet. So he went for a wee and a boo, which <laughs> he must have been uncomfortable. And then the only way he would settle was if he was on the bed, head here, right between me and Sam. So... <laughs> Me and Sam sort of slept like pushed to the sides of the bed because it was the only way we could get an extra couple of hours. Anyway, that's the update on this morning. I need to set off, so let's set off. Let's stop saying we'll set off and let's actually set off. And uh, I'll catch up with you when there's anything else to show. It's so sunny, I've got the sunglasses on. Oh, what a treat. I'm just popping into Sainsbury's because I've heard that they're... Well, I've always liked Sainsbury's clothes, actually. And I love Sainsbury's homeware. Habitat Sainsbury's is chef's kiss. Um, but I've heard that they're like summer clothes are out and they're really good. So I'm going to have a look. And I can see loads of plants out the front. 
And it's like on my way, so I don't feel bad about going in. And I really want a Diet Coke, so three beards, one stone. <laughs> Although it is that season if you're a glasses wearer and you've not got, what are they called? Photo, no, photochromatics that you're constantly flip-flopping to be able to see. Let me just, there we go. <laughs> I am now late. I'll show you what I've got when I'm home, but <sighs> nothing quite like a can. It's got to be a can, not a bottle of Diet Coke on a sunny day. Join me as I swap glasses again, because I'm about to go <laughs> from the outside to the inside. There we go. Um, <laughs> Bloke's just made direct eye contact with me as I'm vlogging. Let me wait for him to leave. <laughs> so I finished at dinner. It was lovely. I'll put in on the screen where we went for uh, lunch because it was a lovely little pub and it had won all sorts of awards for dog friendliness. Didn't have Ted with me, but we'll go again. Um, and I've got a little bit of time. Sam's uh, still at his brother's, so I've got a little bit of time before I need to go home. I've just been to one garden centre. Um, <laughs> that I'm looking uh, for something specific and they didn't have it, but I did come out with two things. Anyway, I'm at a different garden centre now. <laughs> I actually need something. I need seed trays. Cause I'm sowing too many things. Um, so that's what I'm looking for, but there's a plant there. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to pop into this garden centre. I'm not doing like a fun garden centre day trip with a cafe visit. I need to get seed trays. So I may or may not take you with me, but I'm not here for a jolly. I'm here for for a, a, a purpose and a reason. So don't buy anything silly, Emma. We're not meant to be buying anything silly this month. Let's see if there's another frog. <laughs> Another frog ornament I can buy, eh? Literally, my favourite walkway in the world. <laughs> Oh, Magnolia just looks like a stick in the ground. <laughs> One day, maybe. <laughs> I tripped and bought some plants. <laughs> um, I wish I had an excuse for myself. I don't. <laughs> I was unsupervised in a shop. Not my fault. I'm going to go through this very quickly because I need to run in and take the washing off the line while Sam quickly as a half shower we're both home um because we're going to the ice hockey tonight obviously it's a saturday so the first thing i got is this house plant look how squiggly wiggly and weird that is i just loved it i just i just thought it was weird and i don't know anything about it asplenium i just thought it was wiggly and weird and this is the state of one of my current house plants so i thought i could Swap it for an alive one. That would be useful, wouldn't it? This bad boy. How? My mum had one of these in our garden. And it comes back every year. And it's beautiful little heart-shaped plants. Decentra. And this was £12 for a big massive tree. And I don't know where we're going to put it yet. I'll have to talk to Sam. But I just thought that was so pretty. And this has actually got two stems in it. Which is why I picked this one. Um, I also got the uh, little potting plants, an aster, again pretty, is this a perennial, autumn flowering aster, well that'll be nice, it's nice to have ones that flower at different times of the year, and this is a aqualegia, I am trying to grow some aqualegia from seed, but they're slow, um, and this again, pretty pink flower, this is a perennial, I think. Hard and reliable and will flower year after year. Flowers April to May. Wonderful, perfect, beautiful. And then I got a little chili, popper, chili pepper, just plug plant. 
Um, these were like a pound or something, and this is a tricolour one. You can all my shaky hands. Um, yeah, I just have not got that variety, and they're like purple, yellow, and red. And I thought that'd be fun. Um, <laughs> I also got some more daily tubers. I have given some away of the current ones I've got to my stepmom, but I've got some more. And I got these, I'm going to show these to Sam. But these were called Star Wars. I just thought that was so fun. You know we're nerds in this house. Sam's actually got a Star Wars tattoo. That's how much of a nerd he is. So I just thought that'd be fun. And then I got, um, I got these dwarf French bean seeds, but they're like yin and yang. How fun are they? I'll plant those in April into pots in the greenhouse but I just thought I've never seen those before they looked so fun and then I got these from Sainsbury's actually um I got some pink echinacea seeds this is what I actually wanted what I was trying to find and then I got some fluffy poppies again they look so fun I don't know if any of these are uh I don't know if these these are probably just annuals oh yeah it says on the front annuals um and then these miss i'm not going to pronounce that for you sorry miss um again pink pretty colorful for the bees um so i got those those were from sainsbury's they actually had some good plant stuff in sainsbury's today all through also from sainos i did try and stop myself buying everything easter themed and i only got one thing which is this cute little bunny I just thought it was really sweet and uh, I've got a lot of bunny mugs but this is a new one um, this will make you laugh if you watched the last vlog where I was bitching about um, <laughs> Morrison's donuts being 89p well I feel alright about it now because I got some discount ones for 9p because <laughs> obviously it's Easter Sunday tomorrow so all the shops shut by law found this out last year when I went to a shop and it was short. By law they all have to shop shut on Easter Sunday so they were flogging everything for dead cheap so I got some discount uh, bread uh, and I got these donuts for 9p so I feel better about paying 8 to 9p last week now and I did get my seed trays and my little cell. This is what I went for and I got them now <laughs> as well as everything else but yeah, you know, gardening, it's a hobby. I'm dead excited for this curly whirly plant. I'll pot all these up tomorrow and I'll do some planting tomorrow because we've got pretty much a free day. So I'm ready to go to the ice hockey. I'm just going to put my jersey on over what I'm already wearing. And I think I'm going to do is a bit of a pack up, a bit of a sneaky, sneaky, sneak it into the arena pack up. And we'll go to the hockey. Sam will show his face at some point, but <laughs> he's all mucky from uh, gardening all day. Sheffield have we any noise for the Sheffield? It's popular belief. He actually exists. He didn't lose me between the walk yesterday and today. So, not feel, I've not felt much today because it's just been, you know, one of them days. Mm. But we won at the ice hockey, even though it didn't matter because we were already league champions. <laughs> champion! And it was, it was good because the team we were playing are number two <laughs> in the league. So, there was a bit of. Bit of a, it was a bit of a. Bit of rubbing, the, barn, rubbing the face. Yeah. Anyway, it's good. Sam's just debating whether he can eat his Easter egg. But then I'm like arguing that it's not Sunday in my brain. These are the art Easter eggs. We got each other an Easter egg. Have we done that before? No. No, I no. don't know. It's because Sam wanted this one. He's been seeing it everywhere and telling me, oh, Tony's doing Easter egg. Yeah, but you like 
Maltesers. And I love Maltesers, and Sam got me the Maltesers truffles. Bougie. Can you eat your Easter egg on Easter Saturday? Or does it have to be Sunday? We've already eaten the small Easter eggs. I don't know why we're deliberating. But that's the main. That's the. They're like you know the you know they were like you know the 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 Christmas chocolates. Mm. You're eating a bit of chocolate around Christmas. Mm -hmm. But not the Christmas chocolates. Yeah, you're not allowed to eat the Christmas chocolates. Otherwise, you get. Hey, mate. Shout out to them. Hello. Hello, happy. Hello, happy. Hello, happy. What? Here with Billy Bomb. Oh, bye. He's just excited. Though, he thinks he's going to bed. Uh... No. He's not coming to bed ever again if he wakes us up at six o'clock in the morning. I'm going to have the last of my mini egg little Easter egg that I got from work. I shared my work Easter egg with Sam. Yeah, Sam didn't two. share his work Easter. Had two. Yeah, but they were mine. So I had I had two and I shared one yeah. of them with you. Well, Sam had one is, and didn't share well, half of it. Where is that bag of mini eggs gone? Should still be in there. I think. Unless I've eaten them and forgotten. No, they're still in there. Yeah. They're still in there. You claim that you wanted them. Read. You wanted them and you wanted them. Yeah, but that whole treat box was mine and I shared one of the Easter eggs in there with you. So therefore, if you got one Easter egg from work, you should have shared half of it with me. No. Here's the answer to my question. You owe me half a small Easter egg. No, not going to And that'll probably be it until tomorrow. Tomorrow will be more interesting. Will it? Yeah. Got to plant all the plants I bought and pick up some pallets. Sam loves it when I make him do things in his car. With your very reliable suspension. It's not reliable, it's broken. There's a difference between something being not reliable and broken. Because he's asking me to put said things in the car, like paving slots and pallets. And then you wonder why you ask me and I get annoyed at you. Anyway, we're picking up four pallets tomorrow, so. <laughs> Morning! Afternoon. Afternoon. Morning if you don't subscribe to the clocks going forward. We are en route to <laughs> pick up some pallets. Basically, my mum's got a, a business and they were clearing out the back of it and they found four pallets and they were going to chuck them in the skip and I said absolutely not you're not allowed to do that <laughs> Sam's very reluctantly going to pick them up with us Oops. it's not as sunny today quite sad for a... today's the day we're doing like garden stuff so I'm a bit yeah. upset about that we only get one day of sun apparently on a bank hole that's it it's all, we're, it's all we're allowed it's all they give us that's the current situation. Do you like my jumper? It's got dinosaur on it. Dinosaurs. Sometimes dinosaurs, several, several dinosaurs. Um, <laughs> sometimes I describe my dress sense as dressing like a toddler, and that is true today because I've got my dinosaur jumper on and dungarees. You like a toddler or lesbian, Well, you know. That's what, you, that's what you say. Yeah, I know. It's the dungarees. I'm quoting you, not me. It's the dungarees. I am in my dungaree era. I wore dungarees yesterday as well. Yeah, and then you walked there before. Let's <laughs> see. We're now home. We sort of accidentally spent quite a lot of time at the allotment because we dropped the pallets off and then we stayed. So look out for the allotment vlog. <laughs> um, Sam's just, well, I've put the kettle on for Sam. Sam's desperate for a cup of tea. But I think while I'm still mucky, I'm going to do some bits in the garden. I've been soaking my ranunculus, 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 I don't know, whatever that weird thing is, since yesterday. So I can plant these now. And, oh Sam, I got these, ignore that, I got these dahlia bulbs mm -hmm. yesterday. Well Look what they're called. <laughs> Star Wars. Um, I've not actually planted any of my dahlias into the ground yet. I don't trust the weather. I know you meant to get them started in composting pots, but I've not done that either. Sorry. So 
So I'm going to plant my ranunculus in some pots and some in the ground. I've got a couple of flowers I wanna sow. So while I'm lucky, I may as well do that, eh? With my new trays. have to bear with the phone quality, the camera's run out of battery, it's on charge. We'll be back to good quality soon. Could film on Sam's Google's phone, but... Um, we've got a big joint of beef there, look. Sam got that from the butcher. They gave us some good instructions on how to cook it. Sam's just going to sear it first in our Dutch oven. Because we're adults, we have a Dutch oven. And I'm going to chop some veggies to go underneath it. And we're going to have an Easter an Easter Sunday dinner. We're not having lamb because neither of us like lamb. So, semi-traditional. We'll just go and pay the uh, carrot tap. We have the cheese tax for the dog. Oh, and the carrot tax for the rabbit. Hey, girl. I'm not <laughs> I'm giving you a treat. It's a treat, darling. There you go. You're back on the camera. I don't know if you can hear me because there's a million things happening. But the Alexa has just gone off. And that means the beef is done. Whoa! Woohoo! That's his Oh, that is so heavy. Okay. Right. Got a little handy dandy thermometer. Thermometer. Where's the picture of the cow? Right, there we go. Let's open this bad boy up. To the cow picture. Go up to the cow picture. Go on. Go on. Oh, she's cooked. Wonderful. Well, meet the thermometer that. Great stuff. Right. Now, Sam bought it from the butchers, and the person at the butchers said you've got to let it rest for an hour. We're going to try and do it properly. So that's what we're going to do. How on earth do I get that out of there onto there? Oh my god. This is not. Sam normally does the meat stuff. I used to be a vegetarian. I don't know what I'm doing. And apparently we let that rest for an hour. I don't know. So while that's resting, I'm going to do everything else. We've already prepped. I say we've prepped the potatoes. So I'm sort of massacred my roast potatoes. So now we've just got crispy potato bits rather than actual roasties. That's fine. It's fine. Right. Let's play oven Jenga. Let's play oven Jenga. Right, this is lard for the potatoes. Oh, nothing fits in our goddamn oven. Right, lard for the potatoes. Honey roasted carrots, parsnip. They're going in. Leave some room for. The Yorkie Puds, obviously. Is it a dinner without Yorkie Puds? To make the potatoes nice and crispy, I'm preheating the lard, slash fat, slash oil, slash whatever you're using. And then in this pot, 
we've got the starter of some nice gravy. So, Ted, can you shift out, mate? Thank you. I've never made gravy from scratch before, but there's a first time for everything. So, I'm going to try and make gravy. We'll see how it goes. This has had onions and carrots and red wine and obviously the meat, beef, juices and a little, whatever you call this, herb, thingamajoogle. I know it's got a name, but I can't remember it. Flour. Okay. Whisk it in. Okay, I think we can need some more water. More water. Right, right. Don't panic, Emma. Don't panic. You've got this. You've got this. More water. It was getting a bit thick, a bit quick. I've got a beef stock pot. I'm going to chuck that in. If this goes wrong, we have got Bisto in the cupboard, so I don't feel so bad. No wrong with Bisto. Tidy as you go, tidy as you go. Do tidy as you go. Gravy's not gravy in. We have now moved to my favourite hob ring in the hopes that that will make it better could never do a Sunday dinner for like this is why I don't cook Christmas dinner mom I know you desperately want me to cook Christmas dinner and take it off your hands but I, I would have a panic attack I can barely do this for me and Sam right let's make a Yorkshire pudding batter I know how to do that I'm a Yorkshire pudding god now you remember I'm a Yorkshire pudding god I can do them I will point out that Sam's having a lovely relaxing bath at this point in time while I'm panicking about the dinner I'll not be panicking after this. I'll be having a nice, nice relaxing. I've just ignored it now. Everything's in the oven, the Alexa's on. I'm just gonna sit and wait. <laughs> How does everyone cook Sunday dinner in a low stress, you know, Nigella-esque way? Because Sunday dinner is not an easy one to cook. I tell you, I don't do it every week. <laughs> I do like a Sunday dinnery, like sometimes I do like like you've seen toad in the hole or cottage pie or sausage and mash, like a Sunday dinner e meal. But I never really do a full Sunday dinner, especially not with a beef roasting joint, because I've never cooked a beef roasting joint before in my life. But I'm gonna just drink this wine. It's bank holiday, so I can drink wine. <laughs> I can drink wine because I'm an adult, a responsible adult, but I wouldn't normally drink on a Sunday evening, usually. The vlogs might say different to that. But usually I don't drink on a school night. But it's not a school night, because we're off tomorrow, so... Cheers. <laughs> We've had some wins and some not wins with dinner. It's a bit smoky in here. Um, gravy, fantastic, delicious, 10 out of 10. Um, potatoes, crispy, delicious, 10 out of 10. The other veg looks fine. Sam's just doing a dunk in the, <laughs> with a roastie in the gravy. Um, the Yorkies. The, York the roasties aren't very big roasties. No, I have explained that they're just crispy potatoes. Um, the Yorkies. The Yorkies. Now, <laughs> they didn't go well. I didn't realise that the oven was on quite low from leftover from the beef being on, whereas Yorkies need the temperature to be high. And I just put them in willy-nilly and the temperature needed to be much higher. So the first set hasn't worked. I then did an emergency second Yorkie, which has worked. <laughs> so we've got one Yorkie between us and four pucks. But the gravy's nice and potatoes are nice, so you've got to take your wins where you can. Well, you as my nan and Mary always says, gravy can have a make or break a dish. It's good gravy, isn't it? Mm. At least I've done gravy all right today. Second emergency Yorkie that turned out all right, okay? This is this is what could have been, you know? Just don't show my plate. This is, this is what could have been if I'd have got the temperatures right, but I know for future. There we go, it all worked out in the end. Ignore the hockey puck. Stuffing, beef, potatoes. Happy Me. <laughs> I'm just torturing Ted with bits of beef. Ah, 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 ah.
that, leave it. It's finally Easter in our house. It's 38 minutes past nine on Easter Sunday and Sam's cracking into the first proper Easter egg. I'm surprised we didn't have it for breakfast, no, to be we're honest. Not it. But we were sensible and had toast for breakfast. And we had a full day of food. I'm still full. I'm really, really full from my Sunday dinner, so I'm too full to eat mine. <laughs> Well, but that means you get to enjoy yours later. Yeah. Hey, no. At the rate I eat chocolate as well, uh, I'll have it for about a month. <laughs> um, so yeah, Perfect. we're just doing an egg reveal. Tony's chocolate lonely egg reveal. Oh, it opens from the bottom. Oh, yes. oh there's little ones. Oh, can I steal a little one? Oh, oh it's not even in foil. Oh, Ted. <laughs> Uh, get in the box. <laughs> you missed that. Oh. Dad had the chocolate box on his... You can't have chocolate on. You can't have that one. You'll be no. poorly. Yeah, there's been some beef about the Tony's Chocolate Lonely egg because it's flat. It's not round, but it's thick. Yeah. She's thick with two C's. So, enjoy. Tony's, no. Tony's chocolate lonely is Sam's favourite chocolate. Yes. So if anybody wants to send any, please <laughs> do feel free. Tony's chocolate lonely. <laughs> Want to sponsor us? I'll learn how to say your name right. <laughs> yeah. Just go psychopath. Oh, oh, that it's thick, Sam. It'll break <laughs> your teeth. We all know the right way to eat an Easter egg is to try and cut it in half, like not actually cut it in half, but get half of the egg. Which one is that? Camera, I'm allowed a little one. Does this come that I have to give you a truffle? Does it have to be a fair yeah. negotiation? Teddy, no. <sighs> Go away. Go lie down. May I suggest a bowl? Yes. You've hacked into that a bit aggressively. <laughs> okay. There's going to be chocolate on the sofa. I can, I can see it now. Never get a cream so far. Oh! I thought that would be hollow, but it was thick. <laughs> We're watching Gardener's World. Monty Dom. Monty Dom. It's like I knew Traffic Cops. <laughs> Me and Sam used to obsessively watch Traffic Cops. And now we're watching repeats of Gardener's World on YouTube. Because we don't have a TV licence, so I can't watch it live. But watch it on YouTube and it's very relaxing. It's very zen on a Sunday evening to have some downtime. And that is us. You're all filled in and up to date. What do you think, Ted? Didn't get you an Easter egg, sorry. I think you're going to have some chocolate egg, please. Absolutely not. If you've had some beef, don't push your luck. Teddy, no, go lie down. Down there, but you come just around the corner, it's only got serious drama. And of course, when you've got more than four, you get a bigger sound, basically. Yeah. Uh, we've kind of enhanced that by using this side. The Karen Malone wall, almost like a full building. Here at the moment, the autumn foliage of the yellow azalea, Rhododendron Lutea, is blazing out. But I don't need any more than that to complete the picture. It's not so much less is more, but less is enough. Happy Monday morning. Monday, it's bank holiday, we're off. Woohoo! We're up, we're dressed, 
I'm dressed like an actual human, not in jeans and scruffs and leggings. That never happens. But we're going to, what are we doing? We're going to Meadow Hall <laughs> in Sheffield, Meadow Hell. Um, not our first choice, but Sam needs, it was Sam's dad's birthday yesterday. And so Sam needs to go and give him his present and such. And that is where they suggested we meet. So we're meeting at Meadow Hall. But that does mean we can go to M&S and have a little mooch around M&S because me and Sam, we love an M&S. <laughs> um, oh, I cut my lip. Um, so yeah, go to M&S, have a little moochy mooch. We're in the market for some bedding. Bedding and pillows. We've only got one set of bedding that we actually like, which means that we have to wash it and dry it in one day, which is now possible because of the tumble dryer, the tumble dryer of dreams. But um, last week we forgot and that meant we've had rubbish bedding on for a week. And it's just not, you know, your bed is a sacred space. It should have nice bedding. And our pillows are basically filled with mini rocks. They were meant to be, I got quite expensive, like luxury pillows when we first moved in two years ago that are like feather. But they're rubbish. They just feel like rocks. So I don't know whether that's because they're two years old or what, but in the market for some new pillows and some new bedding. And Sam also mentioned M&S Cafe. So there might be a scone involved as well. Does mean we're leaving little Ted Burt again, unfortunately. But you're all right, aren't you? You're okay, we're not gonna go for very long. And then we'll be in all evening for you, okay? He's all right, he'll just sleep anyway. That's all you do when I work from home, just sleep. So that is the plan. I'm not sure what Sam's faffing about here. Oh, and then I think we're going to go to a garden centre on the way back because I want some pond plants for um, the allotment pond. And we all love a garden centre, don't we? And this one is like a different one that we've not been to before. So that'll be interesting. And that is the plan for this morning. I'll try and actually show you something we do today, seeing as the past few days it's just been a bit like, we're doing this, we're doing this. And then... Not showing you that much. There he is, look, man of the hour. <laughs> Alright, let's go. What's it to hold <laughs> Pillow questions. <sighs> what do we get? Because we tried to get the fancy feather ones and we don't like them. I like this one. I like the feel of this one. I think that's firm enough. Because I like a soft pillow on top and a firmer pillow underneath. Yeah. And that's medium. And for back sleepers and side sleepers, which we're both side sleepers. Mm. Mm -hmm. So potential. That? Is that a medium? Medium yeah. firm. I don't want firm, firm on top and firm on bottom. Mm. No, I'd have a neck like. Potentially. M&S has been completed. Emma can't park her car properly. <laughs> Sam always tells me I don't park properly, but I'm in the line, so therefore it's fine. And now we're at garden centre. One we've not been to before. New one. And there were two other garden centres on this road. Is this a good... We've driven past them before and we go, so there's garden centres ahead. I'm like, we've been past them multiple times. It's because it's like just out of the way, isn't it? It's like not out of the way, but just a little bit out of the way. So, Ten minutes from home. Garden centre. Wonderful. What a great bank holiday Monday. Do we need to get a real frog so that the frogs know where to come? Terry's not doing it. They know he's an imposter. Oh, one day, eh? had a small downer on the day went to Morrison's on the way back from the garden centre to get Ted some more dog food and I discovered that my purse wasn't in my bag so it's either in Meadowhall, Meadowhall car park the garden centre or the garden centre car park 
and I've had my I've had my paddy. I slammed some doors. I went and laid by myself for a minute. <laughs> I let you do it. Sam so wisely let me decompress. I've cancelled my cards. She's a silly Billy. It's so She's annoying as an adult. It had 20 quid in there as well. I never carry cash. The one time I have cash in my wallet. God damn it. And obviously my driving license is in there as well. And all my pets at home cards. And, you know, just losing your wallet as an adult is uh, inconvenient. But we're over it now, aren't we, Emma? Yep. We've put our new pillows on the bed. And they're actually very nice m s pillows very soft squidgy we also got some new bedding because we only like one set of our bedding and uh, i think i explained that earlier yeah I, can you tell i'm not in the best mood um <laughs> from the garden center i'll show you what we got from the garden center so first of all but now I can't talk. That was bad. <laughs> bad, bad. bad timing. You got muck on your face. I always have muck on my face. Got a Scotch bonnet chilli. Seemed interesting. I got... They had a really good herb selection at that garden centre. And so I got some apple mints, which does smell a bit apple -y. And I thought this would be nice in a mojito or a cocktail or a drink. But I know with mint you have to keep it in a pot, otherwise it takes over. So I'll put this in a bigger pot and I'll keep it in like our garden herb. Garden. And then, oh, our Monge 2 is a bit squishied. Monge 2. <laughs> I got some Monge 2 plants. Because um, I've I never thought, well, I've never had the seeds to grow them didn't think I would want to grow in them, but then when I saw them as a plug plant, I thought, I like Monge too. I thought I could put that in at the allotment. And then we got an assortment, I'll not get them out, an assortment of pond plants for the allotment. I also got these, which I'm going to do a little DIY, but you'll have to wait for an allotment vlog for that. Also got some bird seed for the bird feeder. Got some hay for the dogs. Not for, <laughs> some hay for the rabbit. Food for the dog. Um, Sam got we got some bits from MS Food. Just some, you know, the MS do the bits, the picky bits like honeycomb pizzas and chocolate covered pretzels and Percy pigs. The standard. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the, I'm an adult, but I'm allowed to buy these things now because I'm an adult. Oh, also from the garden centre, we got a black currant. Do we have any more compost? Yes. So I'm going to put it in the uh, one of them tubs. Yes. We do have a black currant bush at the allotment, but it got flooded and I it's think it's dead. Sad in a minute, yeah. And that one looked really nice and healthy. So. <laughs> Some might call it cheating. It's not cheating. It's gardening. Right. Sell it at a garden centre. It's gardening. And that's it. And the forecast said it was going to rain and be horrible and stormy today. It's not. Which is kind of frustrating because we didn't plan on doing anything. But rain this morning. I didn't really no, that's true. But yes, it's turned out to be quite a nice sunshiny day. Mm -hmm. But alas, I need to plant some. While well, you've got the compost out, I'll plant my seeds. Another one of Sam's chilies has come through. Again, we don't know the variety because. <laughs> Got a habanero as well. Yeah, some things Little are one. starting to come through. Over there. My melon. These are melons. Might grow a melon. I don't know. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? That's probably a joke somewhere. <laughs> My melons! Um, and that is... <laughs> that's our current update. <laughs> it's five o'clock. Well, it's 4.59. As soon as that turns to five, I'm going to go have a drink. Because it's bank holiday. Well, it's a school night, really, but... <laughs> Lost my purse, so I'm pissed off. So I'm <laughs> Out to grow in April. Um, 
may have overdone it. May have overdone it on the flowers. But I can't, I can't help it. I can't help it. First of all, you want to get rid of any mushy, mushy ones, mushy bits. That back. one's a bit lipstick. That one's a bit mushy. Right. So, this is where the sprouts all come from. Up here, you can see it's already sprouting. So dig a hole. You don't need to be too deep because you want this to be above the surface. Put it in the middle. Okay. And then just cover it so that that bit's still showing. I want all these bits to be in the ground. But then that bit's showing. The crown. Yes. These are called eyes, actually, I think I'm going to them. And that soil's wet enough so we don't need to uh, no. water it. I have lost a little bit of soil from that, but. Uh -huh. And hopefully that'll grow our Star Wars daily. Yeah, there you go. Your special Star Wars daily there, babe. I'm giving Sam the job of planting up some of the raised beds that are mostly empty. This is a rogue spinach that survived the winter. <laughs> Garlic. And That's then... a lot of paint. Yeah, you don't have to do it all. How am I best doing it? Do it in a drill. Yeah, but then am I just shaking then... the seed, shaking the packet? No, or... and then get your hand and like sprinkle it. Now, do we think I've got enough daily bulbs? Do we think? Is this enough? The six of them there. <laughs> Deepsy doopsy, and I'm way late to planting these in pots, but better later than never. Let's 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 finally do it. I am giving some of these away to my dad's partner, who is a florist, so don't come for me. Sam? What? Is this enough daily tubers? <laughs> oh, it is a masterpiece. Redemption. We're having a Sunday dinner mark too, because we've obviously got all the stuff left. Oh, we're fogging up. The camera's been outside with me, that's why. <laughs> got pies. Leftover veg, wonderful redemption Yorkshire pudding, and mash. Lovely. Sam for this Sunday dinner. I made the batter for the Yorkie, but Sam cooked it, so that's gone well. I think we can say we knew what we did wrong yesterday, and this is redemption. Beef Maybe dripping, if anybody's beef, interested. <laughs> beef dripping, a lot of, apparently. How do we get rid of that? Mash, pies. Yeah, Sam's done that. Thank you, Sam. Well, I was fanning about with my 12,000 dailies. Garden, by the way. We just do every so often. We come round, we look at things. We've decided that this fruit tree is a buffalo bee. It's a pear. We compared it to the fruit trees at the garden centre and we the best guess is that it's a pear. So that's what we're going with until it produces fruit. This has all stayed fine. Planted. It's a bit squelchy. It's a bit squelchy. It's still very wet. Oh God, that bush is coming. <laughs> yeah, but if you think what it was last year. That's a poppy, by the way, a perennial poppy. It's gone mental. So I'm hoping that's what these do, because these are perennial poppies too. But yeah, this is the garden. I put some. I put my ranunculus in some pots in that pot. In that pot. I'll show you inside the greenhouse. This is the current state of affairs. Oh, it smells like a tent. 
that's because it is a tent, Emma. It smells like wet plastic. Um, I did re-sew some of these brassicas, the, you know, the ones that are empty, but they've not come through yet, but it is quite cold, so, you know, they might take a few a few weeks to come up, but the stuff that's been potted on seems to be doing really well. I'm really impressed with these. My leeks are potted up individually. These seem to still be alive, which is good. All of my dailies are teddy out. I don't trust you not to pee on something. <laughs> Daily is under there as well. And then these are all the flowers I've potted, planted today. Some flowers in there. Um, what's in there? Uh, calendula in there. This is everything that was already done and potted on and everything's doing fantastically, if I do say so myself. Nothing's died, which is a success. If nothing dies, it's a success. That's how I'm doing it. Obviously all the cosmos is doing fantastic. It is leggy, but I, you know, nothing much I can do about this. This is daily is from seed. Just had a go. And then yeah. Oh, I'm so excited, so excited. I planted more nasturtiums today, different variety. And yeah, the greenhouse is uh, definitely full. <laughs> it's definitely getting full. Um, I've got this. Okay. Um, yeah, these are obviously empty, but I'm going to successionally sow things, I think. So I might sow more brassicas or, I don't know, I've got a couple more things to sow in April. More sunflowers, more flowers. Oh, it's all exciting. It's all happening. It's all happening in here. You've not seen my face in a while. Hello. Also, I've not mentioned this, but today I've been doing my sourdough. Again, this is the second time I've tried to do a sourdough. So this has been proofing for about 10 hours, something like that and now it's telling me I need to fold it into a round so oh that's what I'm gonna try and do it says gently coax the dough so I'm gently coaxing the dough and now shape it into a round. Fold the top down to the centre. Turn the dough, fold the top down to the centre. I don't know what that means. Like that. Instructions are unclear. If you have a bench scraper, use it to push and pull the dough to create tension. Okay, well doing something. Rest the dough seam side up for 30 minutes. Okay. Okay. Now this feels nice. It looks like a good dough. I think that's all good. Right. Seam side up. That seam side up. Is that not just going to spread everywhere? I feel like that's just spreading everywhere. Is that supposed to happen? Right, and then I've got to let that rest for 30 minutes and then put it in the fridge overnight. So I may or may not have an update for you tomorrow. <laughs> um, depending on if I can do it before the vlog goes up. Ignore this get up. This is called work from home chic. I am actually dressed. I've just got my dressing gown on because I'm cold in the house. But I said I'd update you on the sourdough. I've made bread. Look! Holy cow! I've made a bread! I've made a bread! I've made a sourdough bread and it's risen and it's, it's oh my god! I'm so proud of myself. So proud. This is the first, first of many. I'm going to experiment next time. This is a bog standard, but next time we're going to have flavour. Wonderful. We've now migrated to the computers. Sam's just doing a bit of admin, life admin. I'm going to edit the allotment vlog for next week um, and my dad came round to pick something up and he's dropped off some seeds that his partner has given us that she must have spare. She's a florist so she's growing uh, flowers. <laughs> We're growing veg and flowers so we do like 
I think we're probably going to do a bit of a seed swap, a bit of a plant swap. Some of the dahlias I've just potted up, I'll give to her. Um, they've got an allotment plot just behind us, I don't know if I've mentioned that. So I've got some lovely seeds, oh I've not seen these before. A couple of, that one looks interesting, what's that? Amar Amaranthus? Amaranthus? I don't know, but I'll have to sow some, <laughs> god. <laughs> More flowers to sow. Thanks, Ted, for the background. But yeah. Always happy to receive seeds. And I didn't buy these, so Sam can't shout at me, so. I can shout at how many we've got. Anyway, seeing as Ted's providing the uh, background, noise. background noise, I'll uh, return to you in a bit. <laughs> Professional photo bomber, vlog interrupter, really good at that. I've got, I've got dirt on my head. I always have dirt on my head. You've got hiccups. Okay. Thanks for telling me. Um, it's not really a. It's not really a sitting. It's not really a sitting position, that Ted, is it, on me? It's not really. Look, he's so unbothered. I'll just vlog with you here then. I was just about to say. <laughs> me and Sam are just doing what we do sometimes and spend quality time apart. <laughs> I'm about to watch some Grey's Anatomy in bed, probably with this little bean. And Sam, you can probably hear him in the background playing on his computer with the boys. Gives me the ick when I hear him <laughs> on like team speak with his friends. It makes me like Bleh. reminds me, of, yeah, makes me think of a twelve year old sat in the bedroom. But we are gaming adults, and I have to remember that I'm also a gaming nerd, just in a different way. So anyway, I'm gonna watch. Well, I wanted to watch Grey's Anatomy, but Ted's making me watch the back of his head so and I've got oh, I can't show you because Ted's on me Ted. I've done myself a little snack bowl got some mini eggs in there I did have a uh, half of my stroke for breakfast it's been a very chocolate heavy day I lie down on our new pillows oh, new M&S pillows oh, sometimes you just got to treat yourself sometimes you've just got to treat yourself to a new M&S pillow we got new bedding as well, but we've only just put this bedding on, so there's no point swapping bedding when this is fresh and clean, even though I would like to do that. Um, but yeah. Which grows in me, Ted. Who's your favourite character? Eh? Who's your favourite character? <laughs> okay. Can you... You chill and hang out there, mate. Don't worry about me. Back here. Is anyone else's dog this clingy? <laughs> God. You need to be very clear which one of you I will choose. Trust me, you two don't want to be the next shepherd. So I start to do the repair. Is she just stuck her hand in? Yes! Wait, what happened? Dangerous. We forgot to end the vlog. <laughs> it's Tuesday. I'm just editing the vlog on my lunch break because I got, you know, when it's a bank holiday and I thought yesterday was Sunday, so I thought I'd stay to edit the vlog. Anyway, I've had to rush edit it on my lunch to still get it up for you. But yeah, I'll end it now. Thank you for watching. I know it's a long extra bank holiday one. Hope you enjoy. Um, yeah, a bit of gardening. Bit of baking, bit of Sunday dinner in, bit of Ted <laughs> snuggling, all the good stuff. And um, we will see you next Tuesday. For, we'll see you on Sunday first for an allotment vlog. It's a good one. Stay tuned. And uh, next Tuesday for another weekend vlog. Um, and that's it. That's all we've got. That's, that's it for another week. Nothing else to say. Excited about my bread.
<laughs> it worked. Um, so yeah, leave a comment. Let us have a little little chinwag in the comments. I love I love chatting to you. So leave a comment, like the video, subscribe if you are not already. And yeah, we'll see you next week. Bye.